Hey guys, uh, Mal back. Been working on increasing the output of the ringer. Um, just getting finer materials and increasing the output. So I'll turn it on and we will hook up these three LED lights. Uh, five watts a pop. It gets extremely bright. So we're heavily increasing the output, really focusing on that negative resistance and the um, the tuning effect. And again, the wireless power has become phenomenal with it. Here is the power consumption. A little under one amp. Um, let's run from this. Uh, super capacitor life EPO4 battery hybrid. That's our voltage. You know, you can see it right here um, It can also run motors so I was increasing the output That is the output pretty damn good This system excels at rapidly recharging these um, 14 volt DC Supercapacitor Life EPO4 hybrid devices. So, again, I'll show that it can run a motor. Here's how the motor looks 12 volt DC. So, this, uh, this ringer can now run motors pretty well. Almost like it wants to take off. There's our power consumption. No longer half an amp. Here's how the wireless coils look that are running the motor. Here's the negative resistance circuit right here. Carbon film resistor. Ditch the potentiometer here, didn't need it. Um, instead we have a potentiometer here for finer tuning. As you can hear when the bulb fires, it changes the speed and frequency of the motor. And we can really tune the, the uh, cold cathode spark gap discharge tubes for maximum output. And these, you can just call these cold neons. They're, they're virtually identical to neons, but slightly different with the cold cathode material. And both types of neon bulbs will exhibit a cold cathode effect, but the, this cold cathode neon bulb has that effect heavily enhanced. <clears throat> and the motor makes a tremendous amount of wireless power too, which is very interesting. This thing's running a motor, no problem. So I'm just basically trying to maximize the output of this thing. And it's nearly achieved. And this output is basically what rapidly recharges your batteries. And then you, from those batteries you run an inverter. So I'm going to keep this video quick and simple. Basically demonstrating the wireless power effect still too with it. And uh, to sum it up, it's the improved ringer circuit running off a DC source, the the supercapacitor Life EP04 battery, passes through an amp meter, the output, <coughs> the uh, ringer circuit goes through a negative resistance circuit with the neons that fire and the correct value resistor and um, we tap that power wirelessly and resonantly and we use that power to run motors, run loads, supercharge these types of power sources I've shown in my older videos and yeah, figured I'd just give an update and again most power I've ever had with this thing right now just by adding that correct capacitor here in parallel with that negative resistant resistor and the correct value capacitor here
And here's that raw light output. And the magnetic strength of this output is very high. It pegs our meter. Here's the magnetic field strength of that power. Oh, got the connections reversed. Here we go. It's pegging that meter while our input current drops a little bit and I can't keep that connection dead shorted because my diode will very rapidly heat up and that's a 5 amp diode so it almost pegs the meter I can connect it to an incandescent <coughs> runs an incandescent no problem and again that's the wireless output from these yellow coils doing that We're tapping this power wirelessly from the uh, negative resistant ringer circuit that you see here. And we earth grounded this point. And earth grounding that point gave us very good wireless power. So, next I will show the short circuit current on the meter. Well, first I'll show the voltage. So here will be the voltage. The voltage of that output is 30 volts. And I'll show you something very interesting. If I earth ground the positive output of the wireless yellow coil back into uh, the battery that's running it, look what our voltage goes to now. So we can get a massive voltage increase for free just by grounding the positive here. No increase in our power, but we get a massive voltage boost. And um, that power is real. And you can see it clearly doing work. It ran the motor, ran the light, ran an incandescent. It'll run anything and that's so bright it hurts to look at that is the output now of the ringer that will be on the generator boards that recharge your battery your batteries to then run your, inver your inverter here is the power consumption half an amp half an amp power consumption into the negative resistance circuit and then the output from our wireless yellow coils here wound per tesla pattern um we wound it per tesla pattern 336961 the coil is wound exactly like that give you a good good look at the coil you have one output here with the diode the two coils basically come together in the center one diode output um, the ends of the coils have their diode output combined hopefully you can see that okay and grounding it either to the earth or grounding the positive DC output of the wireless pickup either into the earth or back into the positive of your DC power source will give you a massive voltage boost and power boost free to you and this is hot it's starting to smoke and smell bad a little bit and um, you can't leave this dead shorted too long because the power consumption it'll output either four or five amps and melt the diode which is interesting because that's a five amp fast switching Scotty diode um, so now I'll show you the voltage here again and then I'll show you the current the dead short current so our voltage at that wireless output is 73 volts DC and our dead shorted current will be either three or four amps and I can't leave that connected too long yeah so that's our dead shorted output 
Here's our power consumption on the input, a little under 1 amp. Right output is almost 4 amps. Can't leave that connected too long because, like I said, the, uh, th this diode will get extremely hot. Even though it's a 5 amp diode and that's already very hot. So we will go back to voltage. I might have to upgrade to like an overkill diode and do a 10 or 20 amp Scotty. And then, um, I'll show you the voltage again. And I don't know why that diode gets so hot when we're not maxing out the current, its current rating. So, again, we basically got a free voltage gain just by grounding the positive of that yellow coils wireless DC output back into the source. You can earth ground that or ground it back into the source. And, um, yeah, then again, I'll just show it running. Um, here's how it looks dead shorted. Um, I can get that spark much bigger if I wanted by connecting a huge capacitor bank. Incandescent, no problem, extremely bright, much brighter, just by grounding it here. Uh, no cost on input power to us by doing that. And keep in mind when that's occurring, you can still make all these wireless taps you want, all these LED lights. No degradation to the system, it seems. Um, best way to use these is separately earth ground each light. Um, been insanely busy lately. Catching up on a lot of people's orders. We had orders through the roof we were catching up on. Um... Connect this again, and then the motor, and I'll end the video. And that thing is bright. So I ran an LED, running LED lights. Ran an incandescent. Because I'm maximizing the output of the ringer, that is my goal. Maximizing the output while keeping the circuit components cool. Um, focusing on that negative resistant effect, maximizing the output, and, um, yeah, we can run incandescents, LEDs, motors, anything we want, and here's the motor, and it'll just take off. Gonna have to get a bigger motor to test too. See it's spinning away. And if you don't think it's spinning, it's absolutely spinning. Got some torque too. Might be curious to try spinning a motor generator combo setup and see what happens. And the magnetic parts of the motor are just sticking to everything. So that's that, and I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon, even if it's for free. Um, we have an archive of electrical knowledge, all compiled in one spot on the Patreon to browse through. And yeah, thank you to all the supporters, thank you to everyone. Uh, we've been insanely busy lately, catching up on a lot of orders, and stay tuned. Good look at the setup. Might look a little complicated, it's not. Uh, this is also connected, adding to a bit of clutter. Um, the amp meter, that's powering the input to our circuit. What was running all of our loads was this yellow coil, which is a wireless pickup coil. The ringer circuit is just a Super Jewel Ringer 3.0 circuit. Um, instead of running a load directly off the circuit, we power up negative resistance circuitry, which is a cold cathode spark gap discharge tube in tandem with the correct value carbon film resistor. Has to be carbon film or it will detune the system and not work. Correct resonant capacitor was added, earth grounded it, more nonlinear effects, and we wirelessly and resonantly tap that power with the yellow wireless pickup coil wound per tesla patent i always forget the number but uh it's um i showed it earlier in the video 
and we tap that power wirelessly and resonantly and when we tap that power the heavier the load we put upon the wireless receiver which is the yellow coil the greater our input power will drop the higher the wireless output the greater our input power drops and again you see that real torque do whatever we want kind of and that output can rapidly recharge batteries um, you kinda wanna stay away from lead acid they're old school too slow you want to rapidly recharge batteries you want one of these hybrid type of batteries or an LTO and yeah take care